Hey, my Scorpio Collective, it's Lori from your Empress Energy. I am here to do a special love reading for you. Yes, that's right. I'm going to include in your weekly readings on a different day, a love reading and a money and career reading. So keep your eye out for those, okay, as well as your weekly uh, tarot reading. So let's go ahead and see what energies might be in the room and who you might be dealing with. We got some Leo. We've got some Capricorn, Sagittarius, Virgo, possibly Scorpio, 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 and Libra, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a couple of cards from all these different decks, and we're going to see what love messages we can get for you guys, okay? What we can find out about... Um, the person you are currently dealing with, okay? The person on your mind. So we will get some answers for you, okay? We are going to get all of your message out here first, and then we will cover what the messages mean, okay? We'll interpret the messages together once we've got it all out here i hope you guys are doing well i cannot thank you enough for blowing my channel up you guys are awesome i appreciate each and every one of you that has um liked a video commented on a video subscribed to the channel or shared my um, messages with someone who you feel would like need to hear the messages or enjoy my channel all right, let's see what we've got going on here. Let's cut this. And we'll take two cards from here. Three. Okay, three cards from that one. And we've got the Romance Angel cards here too. Okay. Do the same as we've just done. Shuffle them up. Give them a quick... I can't even remember what a fan shuffle. We'll do a cut. And we'll take the top two cards. Four, they said. Four. Please take four. And the word please was not in there. <laughs> Just so you know. Okay. So we have three for that one, two for that one, and four for that one. So we're moving in a linear direction. That's impressive, okay? And what deck should I actually do your tarot reading? For? I'm, I'm being told to take two cards from here. Love reading for the person who is on your mind. For the Scorpio Collective, okay? Whoever is on Scorpio's mind, can, looking for information about them. All right. Actually, I'm going to put them over here. All of these go over here. If I can make room. Okay. Now, I've got the new Lightseers deck. But I don't want to use that right now. I'm being told to use this one. I haven't used this in a couple of weeks. And I really love this deck. This is the Celtic Dragon deck. I really love the messages that come out with this one. And Okay. Awesome. High energies right now. Very strong energy. All right. Okay, this is your energy towards your person, okay? Your energy towards your person. Your person's energy towards you. Your, the shared energy between the two of you. So you, right now, my Scorpios, are looking for a solid um, relationship. You're thinking highly of the person that you are thinking of. 
Um, you feel that they're very stable, that they're a good match to you, your energy, your finances, your status in life. You trust this person implicitly, okay? The comfort between, in the air, okay? You completely trust this person. You're, you're at ease. They make you feel at ease. Also, I don't know if you can see the two um, dragons that are entwined around the star here. But that definitely is like the, the Two of Cups energy there. So this is a true match. This is a good match. Okay, that's your energy. How you feel towards your person right now. Um, this is your person's energy towards you. They are looking to work with you. They do see this being a productive relationship. Okay. They feel that it will elevate both of you to be in this relationship together. Their friends and family agree. They think that you are a good match for this person. They're creative, okay? They have um, natural talents or inclinations towards the arts, music, painting, crafting. They are, they're just involved in the arts somehow. Also, I'm hearing some of them are writers, very creative with their words, and you enjoy that. You enjoy the conversation with them because they keep it interesting intriguing there's mystery there's a sense of mystery about this person they that you really enjoy about them and they enjoy yes they know that they have that air of mystery and that you enjoy it so they work towards that okay so that's what they want to do for you that they they want to keep this relationship going the energy between the two of you, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm getting a strong twin flame energy, okay? Now, if it's not twin flame, it's definitely a soulmate, okay? And you two balance each other beautifully. The energy is incredible. And in fact, I, the reason I say um, twin flame is because I'm actually hearing that you're mirroring each other. Okay, your energies, you're both intuitive and you are communicating through a psychic connection. And that may be how this air of mystery um, comes into play here. Okay, because like it, it's like you don't even have to express words. You know what the, each other are thinking, feeling. Okay, so this is your current energy right now. Let's see what the past energy was. Let's see where you're coming from. One more card, please. Thank you. That was just weird. Okay. All right, so the first card out was the Page of Cups, okay? Then we had the Five of Wands, and we had the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups was in reverse. So the past energy um, for you is that you needed an apology for something in your past. You were sorry about something in the past a trust was broken okay so the past energy here you feel like you need to apologize for something there was some sort of it was not an argument okay oh kind of like a, a test like you may have said or done something that you were possibly trying to test your person to see where they stood. And this kind of broke a trust with them. They felt a little bit um, like you 
you broke some sort of innocence within the relationship, but this is your current energy. Both of you are good, okay? All right, let's see what your final energy will be. What will the outcome of this relationship for the Scorpio Collective? What's the fine what for at least the upcoming foreseeable future? Okay, because we all have free will and we can change at any moment. Your energy is the uh, will be the four of swords. Oops, that's just a few too many cards here. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Could I get only two cards? Can I get only two cards, please? Okay. All right. All of these cards just came out, okay? But I'm. it was very clearly said to me to put the Ten of Cups between the two of you. You will have success with this relationship. It will end most likely in a marriage um, or long-term relationship if you are not looking for marriage, okay? You are feeling like success, okay? I need to just step back and be grateful for everything that I have. Um, and that's how you feel. You really feel grateful for this person, for this relationship, for the ease with which you feel with this person. You, you are just filled with gratitude and you're just sitting back, um, kind of going over everything that, you know, has led to this moment. Now, your person's energy for the outcome is the Ten of Pentacles. You can't ask for better Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, okay? So this is your shared energy. You both want the same thing. You both want a long-term commitment, a marriage for some of you. And the Ten of Pentacles, their energy talks about just that, that they want and expect and hope for um, a, a, a long-term relationship. Stability, financial, um, you both are on the same level financially, intellectually, okay? You've got a golden dragon watching over you. What do you need, master? What do you need? You need gold here. Let's have gold. So what I'm also hearing is that your person feels like they, that with you, they are going to be able to create magic, that they are going to have whatever it is that they desire because the two of you work so well together. You really complement each other, okay? Now, the two last two cards that came with that message was the Tower and the Fool, okay? So, something in the past had to be let go. Whatever relationship or maybe this tension that was built up due to this test of your person, okay? I think your apology... Probably it, it caused the situation caused a tower moment, okay. But the apology smoothed the water over again, okay. And now you both are ready to take a leap of faith. So <laughs> that's an incredible message right there. I mean that that is just beautiful. Okay, so in this card here, we've now got three tens. We got ten, ten, and ten here. This talks about finding the missing pieces of ourselves and knowing who we are, okay, and that um, the coming together is built piece by piece with the people that we encounter. So I'm getting the sense that with the three tens, my gosh, this is completion, 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 okay. Um, you are done wondering who you are. You've met the right piece. You've got the right piece to your puzzle. Okay, your puzzle is complete with this person. Yes. Card 41, five changes. Okay. Um, you started off in one type of energy in your past relationships, and you've made the necessary changes to have a successful relationship in the future. You've left any um, baggage behind. In fact, 
the change here, okay? It changed the relationship a little bit, but I do, I mean, it definitely recovers and there's beauty and everything else in here, okay? But this, yeah, I mean that, okay. So your soulmate, I told you, it's a soulmate relationship. Um, keep an open mind, okay, that, and okay, yeah, okay. All right, so this is definitely a soulmate relationship. We already discussed that. This says keep an open mind. And what I'm hearing is, is that your person has kept an open mind about what transpired. And that's why with your apology, because you explained clearly that you know you were wrong for doing what you did, okay? Um, and you healed the water. But you have to... Pay attention to red flags. And I'm not hearing in this relationship. This relationship is rock solid. Okay. I mean, look at this castle. This rock solid. You've got rocks. All You've got a beautiful foundation. What I'm hearing about with this is your past creeping in. So pay attention to any negative feelings that you have about past relationships do not put them on this person. And I think that's what happened here. So don't be very, very careful of that, okay? And maybe that's exactly what happened. For some of you, that is exactly what happened. For others of you, you're going to have to keep an eye on this. You know, even in the future that you don't bring in the baggage from the past. All right. Forgiving and learning. Both of you know how to um, have a situation how to step back from that situation before it escalates, having beautiful conversations with each other and clearing the air, okay? So yeah, you guys are definitely meant to be together. You work, your brains work well together, the whole thing. So here's some answers from your angels, okay? Success. The situation will improve and perfect timing. <laughs> so mm -hmm. perfect timing would be for this portion, okay? You're waiting for the perfect time for the, the, the proposal or whatever it is you have to do. Um, the situation will improve. Maybe that's what you're waiting for first is for this little bit to end, okay? And then you have success. So this is beautiful. This is beautiful energy here, Scorpios. I love saying that with you guys. i got to find different words. Um, anyways, new love, back to what you love. Okay, so reevaluate your desires. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. Okay, so what I'm hearing with the, these two cards is that you just need to go back Whenever there's an issue between the two of you, you just have to remember why you're in the relationship to begin with, because you are meant to be together. You're beautiful. I said it again. You are meant to be together. Okay. You know how to communicate with each other. You know how to forgive when forgiveness is needed. Okay. And you learn from the mistakes. So you guys are just going to keep growing and growing and growing. And this says back to what you love. So that just tells me that every single time, and we all know, I hope, as adults, that no relationship has no problems. There's always issues that arise in relationships. You can minimize them by remembering who you two are together, okay? Forgiving and learning. So this was a beautiful, beautiful reading. Um... I'm going to see if your person has any messages for you. I'm taking a real risk right here. These cards, uh, the energy last time I read with these not too long ago was something else. Okay, so let's see if your person has any final messages for you. I replay our conversations over and over. Any other message from Scorpio's person? Woo! Oh, I want to feel that way again. 
and I was told to put it over here. It definitely had has to do with that um, getting past that energy. They want to feel um, that special way you make them feel. You want to feel that special way um, that they make you feel. Any final messages from Scorpio's person? Any further message that Scorpio's person would like to give them? Any last message? There it is. Okay. I am grateful for the spiritual lessons. So I was getting a strong sense of that. Okay, yeah. The, it's the spiritual twin flame, uh, soulmate connection every day. Okay, I feel you even though we are apart, okay? I remember every detail of that day. I knew exactly what I was doing. And someone probably buries themselves in work to uh, stop thinking, okay? Uh, I don't react when people mention you. I, I don't know. Some of these are just not for you. This is your person's messages for you, my Scorpio Collective, okay? So this is beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a different word to say besides beautiful, and I will incorporate that into my future readings. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Please go ahead and drop a like on this, a comment, and a subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, I love you guys. Thanks for everything. Take care. Bye-bye.